The standard deep well pump needs such small and slow strokes not to fall faster than gravity that it must be pumped by hand or backyard windmill. Then the pump rods and riser must be rigid steel, very heavy to lift and unscrew at the wellhead if the foot valve needs repair. The hydraulic return of our pipe pumps allows faster, more powerful foot treadling by one adult or two children. The long stroke permits a continuous polyethylene riser. A longer pull releases the water column, and then the pump wire easily retrieves the plunger pipe with all the moving parts. On its top is a combined seal and valve sliding on the wire terminal. Replacing the foot valve is a bike inner tube flap covering side perforations. At the bottom is a standard seal to slide over the unique inner pipe of the PVC cylinder. On the upstroke, the top valve seals to push water out the riser and suck new water through the flap through the inner pipe from the well. On the downstroke, the top opens while the flap closes. The weight of the water column is unbalanced over the inner pipe area to hydraulically return the plunger and to backwash the filter. The plunger top end can be lowered below its normal stroke to seal on the top of the inner pipe and retain the water column for weeks between pumpings. Buoyant low stretch rope can run to an outside well from a treadle inside a cabin through the delivery pipe which would be buried below a freezing level. The pulley in the T comes out for removing the plunger at the wellhead and the cabin pulley cage is also a force fit in the elbow or the clean potable groundwater can be pressure pumped by sheathing the pump wire in vinyl to slide through a standard seal at the wellhead. The small compliant seal leaks less with less friction and expense than the hand pump's polished rigid pump rod and stuffing box. In summary, the pipe pump pumps more for less cost and easier maintenance than the standard hand pump.